I was eating some KFC earlier and somehow a piece of chicken found its way into my eye. This ruined the experience somewhat so I'm definitely going to think twice before I eat fast food again. But apart from this minor calamity it was pretty tasty so all's well that ends well. On a less I infected note, uh, this is a plunder match on Yemen. And I am playing with, I believe, CD Waver, Sonic Pinhead, and Goldhawk. It's pretty good, I don't usually play plunder, but I enjoyed it far more with Uncharted 3's higher health compared to Uncharted 2's Insta Death as soon as you grab the treasure, so it was much more enjoyable in Uncharted 3. And luckily I'm playing with a team who knows and understands the rules of plunder. They know not to chuck it towards the enemy's base and whatnot. And that's great because a lot of people, they haven't got a clue. They don't know their asses from their elbows when it comes to objectives. I actually felt I fit into this team dynamic fairly well. Like I'm a reasonably good shot. And these guys, they're very good at uh, moving the treasure from one location to the next. So it worked out alright. Although, uh, apparently I'm incapable of throwing a treasure through a doorway, as you can see there, and again here. Having said that, apparently I'm quite good at shooting my teammate's barbecue. And then very good at walking into a grenade. 10 out of 10 for effort though, near rivers, good job. Oh dear. Look at this. Oh, that was disgusting. Bitch bomb for the win, I guess. That uh, bitch bomb, it really has its uses. Right, because there's still the occasional odd spawn, odd bad spawn, should I say, in Uncharted 3. So it's useful if you really want to get yourself right out of that situation as quickly as possible. Um, sometimes it can you can uh, respawn exactly where you uh, activated the smoke bomb. And, you know, that's frustrating, or sometimes if people are laggy, you can get killed after you've respawned by the same guy who was sh shooting you before you respawned, but on the whole, it's alright. It's not as bad as I first thought it would be. Oh, that's just terrible. You, you can see I don't play plunder too much. I, I'm not in control of this treasure whatsoever. Must admit, I was very impressed by Sonic Pinheads. You know, he really knows how to play plunder. And anyway, this is just me looking around at uh, the environment. I think it looks really great. Reminds me a lot of the high rise, actually. I think they're probably uh, those buildings are probably uh, like recolored high rise buildings, you know, that you see on the outskirts of the map. They might be, they might not be. I haven't really checked, but that's what they look like. Got the lucky medal there, but I tell you what was really lucky. Had that been a spicier piece of chicken? I might have found myself in a most unfortunate and embarrassing hospital visit. I believe we're playing a party of four, I think. And, um... On the whole, they're alright. Not the best players in the world. They might have talked a little bit of shit at some point, so I can't recall too well. Uh, they might have actually stuck around for a rematch as well. Oh, check that out, we got a jumper. My in-game character isn't phased by this suicide because he is a heartless Tuscan raider. This level, like the underground bit, it really reminds me of an old level on uh, the original Splinter Cell. I think it was either Splinter Cell, the original, or Pandora Tomorrow. There was a level where you were going around, I think it was Israel or something, and you had to meet like an informant. Anyway, there we go. Good game. Well done, guys. Thank you for watching. Fucking eye infection. I can't believe it. I got chicken in my eye. I thought this sort of accident was reserved for idiots and fat people. I'm not fat, so that probably means I'm an idiot. What a way to find out, eh?